I, th- I think personally it's one of the future things of the game. I think players are under, you know, whether, whether you agree with it or not, that's not my point about social media and, and, and media in general and scrutiny and fan, uh, fan angles on who they are, their performances, etc., etc. You can debate some bring it on, some don't. You can debate all of that. But the fact is it's there. And I think on an ongoing basis, the future of the game won't just be on the pitch. I think there'll be increasing depth to support systems for players. Um, whether that comes, hopefully it will come from within clubs. It might come from the, the growth in the players now. I mean, lots of players now, more, more than the, the big end. We certainly spoke about the, the real sort of superpower players. They're having almost their own mini staffs now. Um, I think there will be a lot more uh, kind of general welfare, you know, that, that becomes important in the game. And, you know, even with that, you know, the, the biggest thing about football is, is people, I'll make that comment and someone say, well, they should be right, they get loads of money. It's not relevant. The money's not relevant in their lives. You know, there's a lot of pressure, a lot of scrutiny, a lot of self-demand as much as demand from others. Um, I don't know uh, Aaron Lennon's actual case, so I don't know what it's about. So I must clear that up. But I'm generalising about what footballers go through. And it's a very, very demanding career. People just throw money around as if that solves everything. It doesn't. They're still under pressure no matter how much money they earn. Sometimes more pressure because of the money they earn. Um, And if it's linked to that in Aaron's case, then of course we wish him well with that. But going beyond uh, Aaron Lennon's case, the bigger picture, I think, that will become a big part of the future of the game, I think, is, is player welfare, basically.